Hey everybody, welcome to the Northwest Bro Studio. Today where we are putting together our great card for the evening. I'm Ken Hamlin. I am Keith Ryan and we are in for a treat here tonight. First matchup tonight, gonna be a, a, a doozy. Roger Hawkins. Roger Hawkins, uh, individual that has been here in Northwest Pro for uh, quite a while, you know, the last multiple years. You can call him like one of the, the veterans of the company. If you will. Well, you know, he took a little time off. Uh, Roger and his wife just had a baby, so we congratulate them. And he's gonna be going up against one of the Northwest Pro favorites tonight, Taekwon Bro. Right you are, Ken, Taekwon Bro, a People's champion, if you will, of Northwest Pro. A guy. Kind of a grand Slam, actually. He's held just about every belt we've got. All right, you are, Ken. I was about to allude to that. The guy who has won every belt here in Northwest Pro. From Robertson, Washington, weighing in at 215 pounds, Taekwon Bro! There he is, the master of the heart punch, Taekwon Bro. Listen to this crowd just erupt at the sight of Taekwon Bro. Yeah, he is one of the big time favorites. People's choice. Should be a uh, fairly clean, not a lot of rule breaking. These Both these guys are uh, Master, not masters, if you will, but the, are one who are proficient in following the rules. They don't uh, wind up uh, breaking the rules very often, only if the rules are broken on them. So it should be a good, clean, uh, scientific type match. Right, you are, Ken. You got Taekwon Bro on one side of the coin, very disciplined in, in martial arts, uh, black belt. Now, elaborate a little bit on what the training does for you uh, in the uh, martial arts. With pleasure. So um, martial arts teaches you character, it teaches you discipline, also teaches you, um, you know, footwork, technique, things of that nature, um, and also like moral values such as like respect for your opponent. Which we saw right there as uh, Taekwon Bro and Roger taking hands to start things off here. Mr. Phil Good is your referee for this bout. Good referee, if anything. Tie up collar and elbow back to the corner. Clean break asked for and gotten. We'll see a lot of that, I think, in this match tonight. This is going to be a good match for sure, Ken. Another collar and elbow tie up. That uh, well puts him back to the corner. Oh! Nice psych out chop there from Taekwon Bro. Taekwon Bro has him to the corner again, setting him up. Ah, oh, another big chop. So nice he did it twice. To the corner where there's a big knee lift. Still good putting the count on him to break the hole. Setting him up. Oh, body splash but misses. I can go and take advantage now. Big splash of his own. 
Can we try it again? Might be. Ooh. Taekwon Pro in trouble in the corner. Third time a charm. And it is. What's he going for here? Setting him for a suplex, maybe? Oh, blocking it is Taekwon Bro and reverses it into a suplex of his own. Beautiful vertical variation of that suplex. Roger holding his back there, came down hard on the mat. Taekwon Bro getting ready. And you can just hear the crowd just erupt. Chanting for Taekwon Bro. Oh, big splash. Going for the Bulldog! Oh, that could do it. Gonna roll him over, gotta cover. One. Oh, only two. Two count off that lateral press. He's psyching himself up. Good, he's gonna go for his finishing maneuver, which is the heart punch. Oh, here comes Hawking back with the elbows. Off the ropes. Oh, big clothesline and down goes Roger. Again tonight, we are coming from the studios of Northwest Pro. These matches filmed at the Key Peninsula Civic Center where we hold matches every month. We'd love to see everybody there. But you are, Ken, the uh, Key Peninsula Civic Center in Vaughan, Washington. Our next show is going to be uh, June 10th. Oh, put on the rope. We're going to break that surfboard type hold that Taekwon Bro had on. Seems like he's picked his body part as the back. Yeah, you can see uh, Roger Hawking favoring the lower back right there. Fighting back. Ooh, what a chop. And another. Devastating. To the ropes. Irish whip. Ooh, body splash. The hang time on that. Oh, only a two count. Hawking has the right idea there. He's kind of... Frustrated though, he's uh, wondering what he could do to put Bro away. Going up to the second row. Oh, big leg drop and he missed. Oh. He'd be feeling that tomorrow. I'm telling you, hemorrhoids the hard way. Taekwon Bro now, coming back. Rolls him up. One, two. Kick okay, out of two. You see Roger almost uh, trying to reach for the ropes there. Well, uh, ring awareness is a good thing to have. Uh, here we go. Taekwon Bro now. Oh, into the corner, and Roger Hawkins just plants it right on the chest of Taekwon Bro with that drop kick. Coming back again. Oh, and another one. Low drop kick right to the temple. Pulling him out now. Covers it. One, two. Right shoulder up by Taekwon Bro. Disbelief on Roger Hawkins' face. Thought he had him there. He's close. Hawkins bringing him back up. Sets him for the ride. Oh, reversal. Ooh, sternum right in the top turnbuckle. Big splash! What's Bro gonna do now? He's going up top. Slingshot. Oh. Going for the bomb off the second rope. Landed face first. Water in the pool there. Each man has a count of ten to rise. Feel good at four. Five. Hawkins up to his knees. Roger's up now. A little surf in there. Oh, and a back sent on. Unorthodox maneuver, but it's effective. Bro kicks out at two. Hawkins cannot understand why he cannot put Taekwondo Bro away. That looks like our top turnbuckle has come off. That could play factor in any sort of a match. Ooh, back with the shot to the gut. Ooh. And he hits him. Pure striker there. Flurry of punches right there. Headbutt. 
Gotta watch out for Taekwon Bro. He's one of the best pure strikers in the history of the Northwest Pro. Oh, the heart punch! He's picking him up now. We're gonna put him down. Faded pictures inbound. Nope. He didn't. He didn't get all of that heart punch that time. It looked like it was more towards the throat. Two, Two count. Two count after a schoolboy. That heart punch is a quick shot right over the heart, which can stop the heart beating momentarily, giving him a chance to pin the man. Coming off of the elbow, it looks like. Oh, and down hard goes, bro. Oh, he's got a hold of the rope, though. Hawking covering him, but he's in the ropes. Yeah, the referee trying to tell Roger Hawkins that Taekwon Bro was in reach of the ropes. He's got to be underneath that bottom rope. Cause a break. Now where Hawkins going? He's going to go up top. Sending to the heavens. Gonna go off the second rope. Big splash and he misses. Nobody home. That did a lot of damage to Roger. The referee counting again. He's at four. trying to get the crowd behind him here. Needs some fan power. Send him up. He looks like he might be going for a, a super kick of some sort. Roger getting to his feet. Oh, the hard punch. Picking him up. Oh, faded pictures. And there you go. There's your winner, Kai Kwan Bro! I gotta say, Ken, this was an amazing match. You've got a pure striker in Northwest Pro up against a very unorthodox yet well rounded athlete like Roger Hawkins. And helping him up. Good sportsmanship in this first match. Discipline and character. Exactly. Yeah, that that hard punch maneuver, you know, can 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 really take it out of you. I've seen it. Uh, I've had seen people have to be carried out after one of those is being thrown. And the celebration goes on for Taekwon Bro. The crowd just chanting for Taekwon Bro after his victory. It's amazing. everything to me. I mean, coming here to Northwest Pro and working my way up the ranks, I feel like I've deserved this title shot. I've beat JD before and I'm going to show him some things that he doesn't know about me tonight and get that Washington State title around my waist. Alright, you got it. It's the Washington State title match tonight. The rubber match. The best of three. And this is going to be where Christian gets his shot at the Washington State title.
Quest Pro Studios are presenting our next match. It's the Psycho himself. Paul Anthony. Referee turned editor with a very devious mind. I, I, I truly believe it's just he, he, he's got a, a screw loose somewhere. Honestly, kind of a he has psychotic, uh, bits of psychotic rage, it looks like. Yeah, this, this match, now, something you may not know, this match is anything goes. As you see, Paul Anthony is bringing in this piece of steel, this steel bar, and it's anything goes in this one. Anything goes, and that means no disqualification, no count outs, nothing. There has to be a winner. Fighting outside on the floor is legal. Chairs, anything. No disqualification match. What? From the mothership, weighing in at 155 <coughs> pounds, Darren Kewitt. Get ready to load the mothership with the rocket fuel kit. Yep, the high flyer himself, Darren Guin, and he's loaded for beer too. Look what he's got around his neck. He has got a chain, and that is a big, thick chain. And he's got a chair with him. Oh, wait a minute. He's going back behind the curtain. What? Oh, and he's got a baseball bat. This is going to get ugly real fast. These two don't like each other to begin with. And Hewen feels that while uh, Paul Anthony was the referee, he got screwed out of more than one victory. But you are, Ken, you know, Paul Anthony has had history with uh, screwing over other superstars in Northwest Pro in the past. Derek Hewen being one of them. The referee is Lucas Henson. Ah, uh, yes. Lucas Muffet Henson, the referee here tonight. Hewitt's ready to go. All we need to do now is ring that bell. And he's inside. Oh! We are underway. Goodness gracious, Marie, look at that. Pounding on each other. This match is going to be no holds barred violence. Outside the ring it's going, which I knew it would. Playing the forearm now. Bring it back in the ring. Referee asking him to get it back in the ring, but I don't think you're going to get much cooperation. Suplex on the hardwood floor. Oh, that'll mess up your vertebrae there. Give you a sciatica. Chiropractor appointment tomorrow for Paul Anthony. Big chop. Loud, you can hear it. Oh. Going to the eyes. He's a madman. Oh. On the ring apron. You know, in a normal match, stuff like that is illegal, but since it's anything goes here tonight, completely illegal for a guy with just. who's just a. you talk to him short of a combination player. I'm telling you, he's like. He has little bits of psychotic rage, and um, you know, he's an outpatient, if you will. I would think. I mean, somebody needs to get this guy institutionalized. He gets, he's like that. When he gets like that, he, he needs to have some help. All right, you are kidding. Another guy fit for a straight jacket, like that marionette from earlier. Oh, uh, they would make a perfect uh, mixed tag team. Oh, look at this! He's putting his face into the mat. He's you know, trying to put mat burns on his face. Yeah, and you don't know what type of stuff would be on that mat, too. Dirt could get in your eye. Yeah, I've, I've heard of many things coming from that. Look at that, now he's choking him over the ropes. Come on, ref. Applying pressure. There's nothing he can do about it, though. He can ask him to break, but he doesn't have to. Yeah, Muppet can tell him to get off until he's blue in the face. Back off the ropes now, going for the cover. One, two. Only two. Look at this! Look at Ewan turning around! He's going to the eyes himself! 
All fair in love and war. Now he's stretching them out. Oh my goodness. Does he have that steel bar? I think he does. I don't know if he found it or what. Or he's just going straight with his hands. Now he's going to sleeper. Breaking uh, at the eyes. It's Paul Anthony. This match is an eye for an eye tonight. Choking him. Anthony's choking him. It's completely legal. There is nothing the referee can do. Ewan kind of knocked Anthony out through the ropes. Oh, he's going under the he's going under the ring. What's he looking for? Some plunder, if you will. Is that a bungee cord? I'm not sure. It looks like it could be. Yeah, he'll find anything. <laughs> and he's got his steel metal bar. Oh, he throws that down now. Oh, and he just struck at him with that uh bungee cord. Now he's choking, choking him. him. He's choking him over the bottom rope and with the bungee cord. I think that's the first time I've ever seen a bungee cord involved in a match. Like I said, a, a few uh, tacos short of accommodation. Yeah, he is a sick individual. Speaking of sick, look at what he's doing. He's whipping out a couple steel chairs. I don't know what he's got in mind, but I don't think it's good for Darren Ewan. Ewan now comes with a chair, he picks it up. Over the, across the back. Ooh! Hard shot with the chair. Oh my goodness. Now he's taking off his belt. This might not be good. Oh, and he's strapping Anthony. Something that I think he deserves. Oh, across the back again. That belt is made out of 100% genuine leather. Oh, and he's got it. He's stretching it in his mouth. Yeah, he's tasting it. Tasting that leather. Dropping down with the elbow. Ewan going to go up top. He is an own high flyer. Aaron going where he's comfortable. Anthony got up in time. He managed to pick up that belt and just whip Darren in mid-air with it. Well, that'll leave a mark, I'm telling you. Now he's going to wrap it around his fist. Ah, fist drop right across the face. Yeah. Throws the belt away. That buckle went right into his face. Only two. Ewan kicks out. Anthony going to put it back on the floor again. I think Anthony is as comfortable on the floor as he is in the ring. Just with a penchant for dishing out the pain. The oh. Asking the fans what he wants them to do. Oh, come on now. That'll roll your stones, Ken. Low blow by Paul Anthony. Yeah, he didn't get any satisfaction there with that shot. I'm telling you. Now he's setting the chairs up. Does he have a plan? I I don't know. Maybe he just wants to sit down and take a rest. It looks like he's got something else in mind. Oh, drops down hard off the apron. Those wheels in his sick mind are turning. Come on, turn back in. He's looking for something else now, too. Good Lord. There's enough plunder in that ring. He wants another chair? I'm not sure what he has in mind. Oh, he kicks him. Trying to keep him from uh, getting back in. Oh, there's the chain. And he's going to choke him outside the ring. Getting the mouth involved. And he pushes our referee. A couple shots to the body there. Yeah, kidney punches there. I think he still has something in mind with those chairs. I think he was just trying to get... You and uh, down and out so we could set up his master plan here. Again, we're coming to you tonight from the NWP studios. Oh, shot with the chain across the back in the stomach, also. That is heavy galvanized steel. Boom! Oh, that one was uh, a tad bit low. Now we're going back into the ring. What's Q and got in mind?
He's got something in his hand. Ooh. Big right hand by Anthony and another one. Not exact is that a cowbell? I believe so. That's in his in Darren's right hand and he's using it on him. Ring his bell, Darren! Oh, three times in a row. Ooh. Yeah, Darren had a fever and all he needed was some more cowbell. Now is he what's he gonna go for here? Oh, sunset flip off the top and through the chair! Oh my god! That was just devastating and all oh, Anthony is out. And there's your winner! Darren Ewan! This match was just violent. Pure brutality. Pure brutality. Look at all the destruction that lies in its wake. Steel chairs, a steel bar, a steel chain. And a bungee cord. A bungee cord even. That was surprised even me and I've been in this business 25 years. I thought I'd seen it all, but Northwest Pro just continues to surprise me. All right, folks, we got more great action coming up, including a title match and uh, Actually, two title matches, so don't dare go away. We'll be back with more coming up in just a minute. Welcome, my guest at this time, the Northwest Pro United States Champion, say Project loud. West. Say it loud, say it loud. Northwest say it loud. Pro, say it again, say it again. Say it now, again. now, Lumber yeah. says he's got been working on a special project for Project West. What do uh, you got to say? Okay, well, I'm telling him it's game time. He can work on any projects he wants. I'm going in and walking out the Northwest Pro United States Champion. Look at me, America. Game time. There you go, Project West says it's not a problem. Not a problem. Gang gang. Who's ready for our next match? <laughs> nah, I think we can do better than that. Who's ready for our next match? That's what I have. Our next match will be for the Washington State Championship. The Frisco Kid himself, Christian Wilde. Pride of Frisco, Texas. I talked with him earlier tonight, and I'll tell you something. This young man is ready to go. Christian Wilde, just a man that is just oozes the cheese mode. I want to tell you something. You know, he has to, he has to do something because he gives up height, he gives up weight, and uh, he is definitely, definitely got the skill level. I can't hear you! One of the ultimate underdogs, too, of uh, Northwest Pro, if you will. Is that matches against guys like the Lumberzack in the past? Yes, and uh, he's also uh, embroiled himself with J.D. Mason. Some of the earth happens to make his way in. This man 
because it, I just can't imagine what is going to happen here tonight. Christian Wilde looking for this rematch. You know, and, and, and it was, uh, he, he stops at nothing. Truly stops at nothing. And of course, he has that uh, crooked human being with him at ringside. I'll tell you something, this man will stoop to no level to make sure his charge wins a match. Right you are, Ken. One man comes another despicable man. Yeah, they're, it's a marriage made in hell, so to speak. Mason taunting the crowd. Right now, I, I would like to know what's running through the mind of Christian Wilde. There's got to be all kinds of emotions going through it, getting a shot at the title tonight. And, uh, you know, that, that's one thing. But, you know, he knows what this man can do. And honestly, uh, I don't give Wilde that much of a chance in uh, winning the belt here tonight. Christian has a quite the shot. Has a very important words to say. I suggest every one of you keep your mouths shut and pay attention. What I need for all you boys to do is shut the hell Mason is not getting on the good side of the crowd here. Super group and Christian Wild saying no sir. This is for the Washington State Championship. The defending champion JD Mason and Christian Wild gonna go at it. And of course on the outside, Morty Lipschitz. Took the words right out of my mouth, Ken. Shut the hell up! Morty! Morty! 
God, referee Lucas Muppet Henson. Again tonight, coming from the Northwest Pro Studios. J.D. Mason backing up Christian Wilde. And I doubt this will be a clean break. Ooh, just a hard slap to the face. Insulting more than anything else right there. Insulting injury. Oh, we didn't have to see that. I don't even know if that was PG. Getting ready to lock up. A wild grabs that side headlock. He is putting them some power on it. Reefing it, if you will. Working that headlock. To the ropes. Oh, nice shoulder tackle by Wild. He's catapulting himself. Well, the all 155 pounds there, he's got to do something like that if he wants to stay in this match. And, uh, of course, uh, Mason says he pulled the tights, which did not happen. Pretty hard to do when you're throwing a shoulder block, wouldn't you think? Very difficult indeed, Ken. Henson putting the count on. Oh, back outside again. I think he's more worried about talking to the fans than he is taking on his opponent here. I believe Mason thinks he has this one in the bag. Very confident. Could be. There's a lockup. Oh, brings the knee up, says Mason. Irish whip, reversal. Ah, oh, nice. Drop down and trip. Putting Mason to the mat. Coming up, grabs that side headlock. Slice spread. Only a two. Beautiful springboard bulldog there. Oh. That clothesline just really from inside out. Yeah, this is. Uh... Oh, look at that! Now he's just choking him. He's just choking him blatantly. Mad dog. And again, he's biting him. Look at him bite him. That's just absolutely rabid. <sighs> this man will not stop at anything. To... Oh, he's biting him on the arm. Come on, feed this dude before we bring him out into the match. Where do you ever feed him? I'm telling you. I think that's how he makes him uh, more hungrier for a match. You know, sustaining food away from him. You know, everybody needs sustenance. Turnbuckle treatment by Mason. Now he's going for the big chop. That was a tiny one compared to most ones he does. Got him trapped in the corner, biting him again. Come on! Just his Referee trying to get him to break. To the buckle. Nope. A reversal. Big splash. Back in the corner again. Here comes the Frisco kid. Boom! He lays him out again. So is he gonna go over one more? Two months. Oh! And down goes Mason. Wild, where he's comfortable, going up top. Pulling the lever on that slot machine. He's gonna gamble. Frog splash got a cover. I could be, might be. High reward and no. Oh man, it was a risk, but it was good on the cover. I mean, he he landed hard. Knock the wind out of Mason, that'll help. Oh, out goes. Just dumps in the outside. Wild is outside now. And who's there, of course? Morty Lipschitz, putting the boots to him, as that's what you want to call it. Here comes Mason now, back outside. He's uh, kind of uh, turned the referee's attention away. 
Now he's jaw jacking at the fans at ringside. Going after Christian Wilde now. Oh, right on the apron. Oh. Just chucking him right onto the hardest part of the ring right there. That's the way. I'm telling you. Yeah, he's going to slam his head on it. Oh. Absolutely no give. He's got him up across the guardrail now. Oh! You can hear that all the way to the other side of the front. Oh, big slap to the face. Now he's just insult. He's just doing insult. He may have injured him, but now he's just adding insult to the injury. Rolls him back in the ring now. I think he can beat this young man at any time he wants. I think mean, he just wants to dole out the more punishment. Oh, fist drop. Cover one, two, and Wild gets out. And, and you, as you can see, didn't put any weight on that left shoulder. Wild continuing to survive here. Drop that fist down again. Kind of a more of a forearm across the head that time. Oh, and he's showing how great he has his, his, his stamina. He's doing push-ups. Oh, leg drop. Yeah, it looks like he works out in his backyard or something. There's a cover. One, two. Wild is out again. It's remarkable this young man has the will to kick out after the punishment he's taken. Wild continuing to survive you when that kid's got heart. Oh, and Lipschitz again trying to berate the referee. Chinlock from behind by Mason. The referee has to be very careful to watch that he doesn't slip that down across the throat for a choke. Really taking the wind out of Christian Sales. Ooh. Remarkable. Land that knee into the middle of the spine. Down on the mat now. But again, Keith, he's making Wild carry all his weight as he lays it across the, the back, which will, will affect the lungs. So, you know, this is going to make it even harder. If you can't breathe, you can't perform. Just tiring out Christian at every turn. Crowd trying to get Wild back in the match. Couple of elbows, there's a third one. Ah, just down by the hair. This man has no regard for the rules. He has no moral compass. Well, you see who he hangs around with, so. Mason in complete control of this match. Ah, oh, knee to the head. That'll scramble those brains. We have to worry about this young man maybe getting a concussion. Also from things like that. To the buckle. Mason measures him. Sets him up. And he's gonna... Ooh! Devastating vertical. Suplexed him hard down on the mat. Oh! What a cover! Did he actually think he was gonna beat him that way? What an absolute Judas is J.D. Mason. Again, he ran in the crowd. He needs to pay more attention to his opponent than he does the crowd. Got him by the hair now. Come on, Ralph. Make him break. Gonna put him up on the top. Turnbuckle. What's the plan in his devious mind of J.D. Mason? Oh, a headbutt. That took a little bit of the starch out of his sails. Oh! What a maneuver! Power bomb. He's going for it. Oh. Two and nine tenths. Come on, ref. 
Christian Wilde looking to fight back. You can see the marking on J.D. Mason. You see the markings on Christian Wilde. This match is taking his toll on both men. He's got a hold of him by the foot, trying to keep him from getting himself back up. Now, they're going to be face to face. Lipschitz encouraging his man. Look at this, Wilde's back up. Oh, Tornado DDT off that middle rope. Two and nine tenths that time. Wild just cannot catch a break. He's got Mason in trouble. Oh, nice boot. Slice bread, maybe? Yes, sir. One, two. Oh my God, what's he gotta do? Another near fall right there. Retro Arcane, what does Christian Wilde have to do to put J.D. Mason away? Wilde now, back to his feet. Ooh, a blow blow. And that's a disqualification. He's calling for the bell. Disqualification on Mason. Christian Wilde's gonna win the match, but not the title. JD's not satisfied. He's going for it. Is that a pile driver? It's a pile driver. He is trying to put this young man out of action for good. He is going to have to go under concussion protocol for that. Now look at Marty putting a chair in the ring. Is it not enough that you low blow the man, that you pile drove him, and now you're going to pile drive him on a chair? What level is this man going to stoop? Package piled right around the chair. Good God. That's going to put him out of commission, Ken. That's scary. Is there anybody that's going to be able to help him? Somebody's got to come out and help this young man. He is completely out. Oh, no. He's not going to do what I think he's going to do, is he? Oh, the referee just snaps the chair. Away from JD and here comes Taekwondo Bro. There goes Taekwondo Bro into the ropes and out of the ring. Oh, slams him hard on the apron. The match is over, folks. This is the aftermath. Oh, what a shot to the referee. And what uh, is he going to pile drive the referee? No, powerbomb on a chair. Oh, that's got to put him away for good. I don't think we'll be seeing that referee again anytime soon. Oh, my God. That's going to cost him. That's going to cost him a fine, big time. Oh, my goodness, no. Oh, and here comes Taekwondo Bro back into the ring and garnering a chair. Lucas Henson could be out. Pile driven on that steel, or actually powerbomb on that steel chair. There will be fines levied, we are sure of that. As soon as the uh, Northwest Pro powers that be see this video, it is going to be costly for J.D. Mason. And although he keeps his title, he doesn't win the match. There he is, your champion. J.D. Mason. We'll be back with more coming up. Lumber Zach, tonight, big night for you. You're looking to get your U.S. title back. It's going against Project West. What do you have to say about the loss last time and what you're going to do tonight? Ken, that loss doesn't matter. Wes cheated. He cheated? He cheated to beat me. I don't know, it didn't look that way. I'm tired of you doubting me. I'm tired of these newcomers coming into this company and thinking they can step up to me. Now Project West may have got that US title, but I got something for Project West. A little project I worked on. I feel like there's a new champion tonight, Wes. There you have it, the words from Lumberzack. This match will be for the United States Championship! <laughs> the first opponent, 
25 pounds of the big man, Lumberzack. I believe that is his mother there amongst the Northwest Pro faithful. Lumberzack armed with what looks like an axe handle. And right you are there, Keith. If there is a a man deserving of carrying an axe handle would be this guy. Lumber Zach with the usual jaw jacking at the crowd as he does. He is uh, your former United States heavyweight champion here in Northwest Pro. Trying to intimidate referee Phil Good. I don't know if that will happen. Phil Good, a competitor, manager in his own right. Now he is a, a good referee. He is. There's the man with the plan, U.S. title holder, Project West, and he has a special guest manager tonight. You know who that is, don't you? Reggie Mark, and, and who he's walking out with looks like he's a little bit cocky here tonight. That is Chicken Bob, and Chicken Bob has been known to be a great manager, a great competitor. Record store rock star in the house, Project West, ready to go to war with the Lumberzack here tonight. Let's see if he can retain this U.S. title against the big man who really wants it back. Honestly and truly, he wants this U.S. title back. He was the original U.S. title holder here in Northwest Pro, and he would like nothing better than to put Project West's uh, shoulders down to the mat for a one, two, three. Big accolade in its own right of Lumberzack holding the oh. title for the first time in O. Oh. He's attacking him before the bell. With that axe handle. This doesn't look good for Project West. I think Lumberzack wants that bell back a little too much. If we feel good, he's going to ask him if he can continue. I don't see Project West not wanting to keep this title. I think he'll be able to continue with just on guts alone. Oh, and he puts it on to Chicken Bob. Well, that takes Chicken Bob out of this match. And another axe handle shot on Chicken Bob. Oh, and out he goes. Let's just be glad that he didn't get to choke him. And we are underway. He's Project West wearing that gaming maneuver around his neck on a chain. Retro Arkham, that is a, uh, a gaming controller uh, painted gold. Chicken Bob came back trying, but he's been tossed out of the ring by Lumberzack. Chicken Bob appearing to be very injured after that toss. Yeah, he might have a wing problem. 
said he gets hurt trying to wing it. That's true. And he was winged out of the ring. Project West says, yes, let's go. He says, I can go. I'm just back thinking he may be the new title holder. Holding up that belt high as if he won it. Throws it over in the corner. Are we ready to call for the bell? Project West is not in here to play games, even though he has a game controller. The fans are behind him. He goes, yeah, I'm ready, let's go. Referee asking Lumberzak now, both men are, or if he's ready, and Call ring for the bell. Ah, oh. Project West, coming on full force to Lumberzak. These two behemoths are gonna fight it out. Last of the Titans. Big chop by Mr. 1-8. I don't know, sometimes I wonder about this Lumberzak guy. Oh, big chop again. Lumberzak has had a history of playing dirty. Chopping him down like a big redwood. Oh, putting all the weight down across the back. Lumberjack now taking time away from his opponent. Something that uh, may be detrimental to him. Oh, putting his hands on a ref, that could cost him. Yeah, Bill Good warned him. If he lays his hands on, on the referee one more time, he could be disqualified. That would uh, not be, uh, he could not then regain his title. You know? Titles do not change hands on uh, disqualifications or count outs. You have to be won by pinfall or submission. Jumping West over the ropes now, come on. Again, going over and jaw jacking for the fans. Oh, big chop by West. Sometimes I wonder if he's got sawdust up there in his head. Double axe handle that time on the lumber's act. Bill Good almost got in the way of that last time. Lumberjack landed into uh, Project West trying to get his, regain his uh, breath. Coming at him again. Puts him down to the mat after that big body splash. Project West looks like he's about out of breath after that assault early on before the match started. Well, you know, two of those shots like that in the corner gonna knock the wind right out of him. Now Lumberjack's just throwing some rights. Here comes Wes. Got him by the beard. Oh no. He's got him by the ears. Oh, there's a bell ringer for you. Maybe it's an with that bell clap. I'm telling you. Project Wes, a little worse for wear here though. Trying to get his breath back. Trying to get his, re regain his senses. Throws a couple of right hands. Reversal on the whip. Ooh, big clothesline in DeAndre's West. Ooh. That was like two Mack trucks hitting on the freeway. Very devastating. I was gonna choke him. He's choking him over the ropes. Lumberzak will stop at nothing to try and regain that title. Using the uh, lack of rules to his advantage here, making sure he doesn't get counted out. It's full of it. Back across the neck again. Doesn't seem to be phasing Wes much though. Puts it to the corner. Uh, Project Wes now in some trouble. Picked up Lumber Zack and he misses. Caught that turnbuckle on his chest. Ooh, big right hand. And another big right hand. And an uppercut by West. That's a new to his repertoire. Grabs him by the shirt though as he was going for a third one. A shot to the back of the neck. I saw Who's winning? 
Again, Lumber Zach not taking advantage of his ill gotten gains here. Look at that, standing on my wrist. Almost looks like Project West is going for the axe handle. Project West uses that axe handle and gets himself disqualified. He would still retain the title. Exactly, because again, he cannot uh, change titles on disqualifications or countouts. Champions of them. Well, here goes Lumberzak now. Looks like he might be going for a suplex. Turning him around, getting him up. Oh, turned it into a body slam. Back going, senton. Big devastating senton there. Going for the cover, count of one, count of two. What? Project West kicks out at the last moment. Again, we're coming to you tonight from the NWP studios. Again, trying to intimidate the referee. His lumber Zach. Lumber Zach going to the outside, trying to catch Project West right there on the apron. Getting him from behind where he didn't see it. Big chop by the lumber Zach. Oh, West comes back with a chop of his own. Onto the guardrail! Oh my god. I could have broken his nose. West going back in the ring to break the count. Number Zach a little uh, disoriented here. Not sure if he's going to be able to make it back in the ring by the time the count. Trying to shake all that uh, sawdust out of his head. Yeah, I don't know if there's any cobwebs there, but could be some sawdust. Dropping that weight pull across the sacroiliac there of Project West. Again, bantering with the crowd where he should be on his opponent. And it, he paid for it there, big headbutt to the gut. Oh, look at that forearm, across the back. Takes the big hand down. Holy moly. But can he get him over? Trying to roll all that dead weight. Look at that. Lumberjack is hard to get over. Well, only a two count. One thing Lumberjack's got to be careful for is that eight pounds of pressure that Project West is capable of delivering. Right, Jordan. He's finished many opponent in the past. Is he going to get him up? He's trying. I don't know if he can. He's had so much damage to the back. Lumberzak has kind of keyed someone on the back throughout the, uh, the match. Lumberzak a little worse for wear himself, trying to catch his breath. Yeah, when you try to lift a big man like the Lumberzak, it takes its toll on your lower back as well as your core. All that weight, 325 pounds. Project West now in trouble. Ooh, right across. Flubbing claws across the chest. And a third one. Here comes the fourth one. Oh, and a headbutt. West is down. I think that uh, hurt uh, Lumberjack just a little bit, too. Yeah, it stunned him just about as much as it stunned Project West. Yeah. Both of these men known for having uh, hard heads, would you, would you say? I agree with you on that, Ken. Both men, hard heads. They are proponents of the headbutt at times. Grabbing him now, trying to work his way back up as Project West. Ooh, big forearm. That rocks Lumberzak and one to Project West. Boom. Strong forearm. Off the ropes. Missed the clothesline. Side slam. No, look at that. West got out of it. Dropped him in a DDT. What a nice maneuver by West. Beautiful to get out reversal. of that. Beautiful reversal. Both men down. Now they got to count of 10 before they have to be back to their feet. Or it'll be ruled a no contest. Referees at four. Both men stirring. 
He's at six. Both men now trying to get back to their feet. They're both back up at their count of nine. Oh, and there's a clothesline by West. Doesn't face Lumberzak though. Missed clothesline by Lumberzak. Back elbow. Setting him up. Oh, nice about kick. That one just right to the head. Lumberzak is stunned for a moment. Oh, they both go for the headbutt. But nobody wins on that exchange. Looks like they both headbutted each other in the shoulder. Meeting of the minds there. This is, no doubt, the, one of the finest big man battles I've seen. Oh, this is a hoss fight for sure, kid. Exactly. Reverse the whip. Off the road. Sidewalk slam. Cover one. Only got a two. Almost took him into the abyss there with that side slam. I think we're going to have to check the boards in the ring after that. Holy moly. We may have to replace a couple of boards. Big one across the head there by Lumberjack. He's going up to the second row. Lumberjack looking to fly. This is not Lumberjack country. Oh, big elbow. And he missed. Project West had him in the sights that time. That about moved the ring a couple inches there. You can hear that on the Richter scale. I'm telling you, that one, uh, that one we even felt here in our studios. Holy cow. Come on now, let's see what happens here. Then, oh, Lumberjack has that axe handle. But he was thinking about using it and he stopped at the last second because he knows he can lose the, the match here tonight. Feels good, gets it away from him. Ooh! Was that a low blow by Project West? He's gonna set him up. Eight pounds of pressure. And that could do it. One, two, three! Project West retains the US title. Project West kind of uh, giving Lover Zach a taste of his own medicine. Kind of using an illegal maneuver to its advantage. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner is still United States champion, Project West. Project West maintaining possession of that United States championship. Big win over the Olympics. All right. Thank you very much for joining us here on our show. We really appreciate it. Don't forget, keep involved by watching our programs. Also, check us out on Facebook, Northwest Pro. Three words. Get up to date on when we'll have our many, many shows upcoming this summer. And you're going to want to take them in for sure. Say hello to all our folks and fans over in Spokane. We're coming your this way this summer too, so be aware on that. We also have content on YouTube over at uh, NWP Wrestling Official. And HPL 11. Don't want to forget them too. So, and but it's nothing like watching it live. Come on out to the Keep It Insula Civic Center and see us here live and in person. You're gonna to want to see it. It's gonna be a great summer. When our 10th anniversary is coming up very soon, We're gonna have some big, big matches on that show. So keep us uh, apprised on uh, Twitter and on our Facebook page on when that's gonna be happening. I believe it's in July. So uh, you know, keep yourself together on that and watch us and keep it uh, right here on your uh, computer station for more action coming up. Tickets are general admission $10, ringside $15. And these events are can't miss, won't miss. And they're family friendly too. So for my buddy Keith Ryan, I'm Ken Hamlet. Thanks a lot for joining us. We'll see you next time on Northwest Pro.